hey what's going on guys so i'm back and back right in time to show you guys what is on my nexus 6p so the nexus 6p uh this thing has been amazing it's one of the best experiences i've ever had i did an entire video on this thing about a couple of weeks ago that so many people have watched in case you haven't really watched that boom i give you a chance no but seriously there's absolutely nothing better than this that i've tested as of now so talking about my 6p literally speaking there's absolutely nothing on my 6p and i'm kind of proud of that well at least i'm not ashamed of it because you know what this thing is a gorgeous phone it's absolutely beautiful i don't really want to ruin the feel and the way it looks by putting a case on it but without further ado let's dive into what i use my nexus 6p for that should be pretty interesting so right in the front home screen you'll realize the clock widget the standard clock widget is not there uh this thing is something from super widget i don't really remember the name but you can find that from the Zuper widget, which is available in the Play Store for free. Other than that, you'll see all the apps that I frequently use on my 6P, so all the social media apps. And then you'll see my bookmark pinned to the home screen. This thing is my live subscriber account. So jumping on to the next home screen, there are a couple of apps there. But the first one that I'd like to show you is Night Screen. I actually found this about just a week ago and I've been loving it. It reduces the brightness of your phone to even lower extent from what you can possibly do by the stock Android. It does not let you get blinded, which is really convenient. Then I've got a folder called as music where I store all of my music apps. I don't really have that many music apps, uh, but there is SoundCloud, SoundHound and Sawan. SoundHound that I use to get details of unknown tunes or songs. So it's really very convenient. I've also got another folder called as shopping where I have all the apps of big online retailers and then I've got Aftership which is my app of choice to track all of my shipments. Next up I've also got this app called as Fleet and this thing lets me track my car. Pretty damn convenient. But apart from all these apps that you see on the home screen there is one thing that you probably haven't noticed till now. So if you look at the top right corner there is a slight bulge coming out and if you swipe towards left from there you'll get a list of my most used applications. So it basically lets you hop into some other app while you're in some else. There's one more app in my phone that does just this, but in a slightly different fashion. And it's called as OmniSwipe. So if you swipe upwards from the bottom right corner of the phone this time, you'll get an array of options in a circular manner. Again, really convenient. Now jumping into the menu, there are a couple of apps that I'd like to show you. First up, Cam Scanner. Uh, what this does is that it basically scans all of your images and stores it in PDF format. Uh, super convenient. Next up, I've got EOS Remote. It's it's an app that basically makes my phone a viewfinder for my 70D. I uh, kinda cannot really use it in my movie mode. That's kind of disappointing. Next up is this app called as Unit Converter, which is does what its name suggests. And so that's pretty much it. So that's the end of the setup. That's what I have on my Nexus 6P. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found the apps, certain apps. To be fruitful and i hope you would share this video if you enjoyed it feel free to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what all i can do for improving i'm constantly working on audio and i hope it is better than this one thanks a lot for watching this video i've got lots of videos in the pipeline guys and i'll catch you in my next one super pumped for 2016